Hey, this is Pastor Pete with Northwest Church, and this is Things My Father Taught Me. Years ago, when I used to remember my dad speaking on stage, he would say this one particular phrase, and he said it often enough, it's still stuck in my head. And he said this, if you don't deal with your problems, your problems will deal with you. Sometimes he would say it in another way, and he would say, if you don't deal with your problems today, your problems will deal with you tomorrow. And that seems such a harsh thing to say, like he's saying, get over it, uh, suck it up, stop, stop whining, stop crying. That's not really what he was saying. He was basically saying that problems manifest themselves in our lives. And the more that we, if, 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 we, if we ignore them or we push them away, they'll just pop up some other way. Now, I know what that's like because I have done that myself. I have, I have found that some issues that may, were maybe uh, emotional issues of inadequacy or past traumas or whatever those things are, um, that, that I would just push them away and I would just get about the business of living the life that I wanted to live. But later on in life, they started to manifest themselves. And oftentimes what happens is we will... Uh, we will deal with those losses. We will deal with those stresses by just covering them over with something else. And I think we've all experienced that to some degree. In fact, many of us maybe use food to do that. Maybe many of us use uh, just exercise to do that. Maybe you use alcohol or drugs or medications or, or whatever you have. But one of the things that I found is, and it was something that I did, was I came somewhat, I became somewhat like a, a workaholic. In the sense of it just worked and worked and worked and worked. And one day it really manifested itself in my body that my body started to break down and, and I used to have start having back problems. In fact, it really showed up really badly one day because I fell off of a 25 foot roof onto an open door and I nearly broke my back and it's a miracle, miracle that I'm able to walk today. But what did that show that? What did that show up? Well, it showed up that um, there were certain things I couldn't do in life. And maybe you would just say, well, that's just a, a, the stress in the body. No, what it did is it started to show there was other emotional things within myself that I hadn't dealt with. And now it, it, it was manifesting my body because you see stress and loss and mourning and pain always, or emotions really, they always manifest themselves in your body. And so eventually things will always catch up with you. But my father also said this, his favorite, favorite scripture was that Christ has come to give us life and life to the full. But right before that, it says that the enemy comes to steal, to kill and destroy, but I have come to give life and life to the full. This is what Jesus said in John 10, 10. But in that, you'll notice this, that Jesus didn't promise to give us life by removing the enemies in our lives, by removing the stresses, by removing the pains, by removing the history of your life. I believe what he's saying is in the midst of those things in your past, in the midst of those pains and trials and tribulations and stresses in your life, in the midst of that, I will give you life and life to the full. Well, how is that going to happen? The only way it can happen is if Christ is actually invited into the middle of those things. That means you have to acknowledge it. That means you have to talk about it. That means you actually have to be willing for him to change your heart and your mind on the things that have happened to you. It's easy to try and ignore difficult things. It's easy to, to just say, well, people have got a worse uh, situation in their life. They've They've, they've gone through worse things than I have. So what I have is not really worth talking about, but really you have to because it's going to manifest in your body. As my father said, if you don't deal with your problems today, they will deal with you tomorrow. We love you guys.